Hey folks, how's it going? It's Matthew here again. Another pickups video. Now, this one, I'm pretty excited to actually show you guys because I got quite a bit of stuff that I'm really happy to be adding to the collection. So, yeah, I'm excited to show you guys. Now, all of this stuff I got on trade at the retro video game store that opened up in my town. Um, by the time you're watching this one, I probably posted at least three or four other videos where I got stuff from them mostly on trade usually but yeah they got a lot of cool stuff in and it just happened that I would built up quite a few doubles of games and systems and stuff so everything in this video I was actually able to trade for so it didn't cost me anything and yeah I'm just really excited to show you guys this stuff so let's just jump right in so the first thing I picked up on trade is for the Game Boy and it's Yoshi's Cookie. I did have this one loose, but the cartridge was in rough shape. And yeah, now I have it boxed complete with the manual and the game. So, happy to have it. Never hurts to have another boxed Game Boy game. So, yeah, Yoshi's Cookie for the Game Boy. Box complete. Now, the next game is another box complete game and that is Little League Baseball Championship Series now I tend not to pick up sports games that often if they're super cheap I, I will but this one the main reason I picked up well two main reasons uh, it's in really good shape and it's box complete but yeah the shape is really good hopefully it kinda of picks up on the camera there but really good shape and the other thing is it's made by SNK which I thought was kind of cool for a sports game. So I'm actually wanting to try this one out, hopefully soon. But yeah, SNK Little League Baseball Championship Series for the Nintendo. Box complete. Happy to pick that one up on trade as well. Uh, next we have a GameCube game. This one I was happy because I pretty much have most of them in the series. I think I'm missing... Well, I'll get into that in a second, but... It is Mario Party 6 for the GameCube. It is missing its manual, but it's got the game disc and it's got the original case, so I'm not too worried about manual. These games aren't hard to pick up and play, so... And that's mostly why I get the Mario Party games, is because I actually enjoy playing them, not just for collecting purposes, so I'm not worried about not having a manual. But yeah, now that I got Mario Party 6, I have Mario Party 1, 2, 3... I'm missing four, but then I have five, six, seven, eight, and I don't have the newest one, nine. So the only ones I'm missing are number four and number nine, and any of the handheld versions of the game. I don't have them. But yeah, for the most part, I have pretty much the full series, and this is just one more game to help me get closer to having the full series. So yeah, Mario Party 6, a great series, and happy to pick this one up for the GameCube um, in the trade. So, Mario Party 6. Next, I have two boxed things for the Nintendo 64. First one is a boxed RF switch, RF modulator. And basically, I'm sure you guys can see, but it's just a little box that... And it comes with this cable part too. But it just switches it so that if you don't have... If your TV doesn't have AV input... Um, then you can use the RF input. Uh, going through the RF input for an N64 really, really makes it look bad. I hooked it up just to see what it looked like, and it made it a lot darker. So maybe that's just my TV, I'm not sure, but um, I really prefer the AV cables. So, yeah. But I picked this up because it is box complete, and it's kind of a cool accessory to have box complete. And it's not a third party one, it's the actual Nintendo 64 brand one, so that was kind of cool. And the box is in really good shape too. So, yeah. Just happy to pick it up because it's something kind of unique and it's box complete, so you know I'm a sucker for that stuff. So, Nintendo 64 RF switch, RF modulator. Yeah. Now, the other thing that I got box complete for the N64 is Extreme G. I haven't had a chance to play this. I literally just finished this trade like two days ago. 
and with the new baby. Well, by the time I post this, he's probably not that new, but at the time that I'm shooting this, he's still quite new. So um, my hands are kept full between that and work, but I'm sure I'll get to trying this game soon. It looks kind of fun. Kind of looks like a F Zero kind of style where you're just going really fast on a track like that. I don't know. I haven't played it, so I don't want to say that, but I didn't have it. So now I have it box complete, and it's Extreme G, made by Acclaim, and for the N64. So, yeah, now I have it box complete, so thought that was cool to pick up on trade. So, that was some stuff that I was happy to get for the collection. Mostly all of it's, pretty much all of it's complete, except for Mario Party 6, which is just missing the manual, so that's no biggie. So I was happy to get that stuff. But the last two things that I picked up on trade, I was really happy for. And one, it just because I thought it was really cool, and I think it holds its value pretty good. And the other thing, it holds its value alright, but mostly because I've been after this game forever. And for you guys that have been with my channel for a while, that probably gave it away which one it is, but I'll show you guys. I got Harvest Moon 64. Now, as you can see, the label is a bit faded, um, but the rest of the cartridge and the pins, they cleaned up really well. Like, it works flawlessly. And I was able to get this through trade, so it didn't actually cost me anything. And I was happy to, I was hap really happy with this copy. Like, I don't really care that it's faded, because eventually I want to get this game boxed complete, but now I can at least play the game, so I won't feel rushed to go out and pay like eBay prices for a box complete copy. I can wait till I find one in the wild. So definitely happy to pick this one up so that I can play the game. As I mentioned, it's probably my, one of my favorite games of all time, if not the favorite game of all time. Um, yeah, no, just happy to have it. So Harvest Moon 64 for the N64. Been looking for it for a while. Got it in trade. Couldn't be happier. So yeah. Happy to have it. So now, usually something like that would be what I save for the end of the video. But I found something that I think is actually kind of cooler. So, um, I posted it on Facebook. Um, for you guys that don't know, I do have a Facebook page for my channel. Just because that way I can post as much video games related stuff as I want. Um, so, I'll leave a link below. Hopefully I remember to leave a link below. But... Basically, you just go to Facebook and search Matthew space Ramstein fan, and then from there you should be able to find me, and feel free to add me if you want. But yeah, like I said, I posted this on Facebook, it's probably a little while back now by the time I post this, but I got a Donkey Kong Jr. Uh, mini arcade. And the main reason that I got this... I've seen these before, but I've never really gone for them, but this one is box complete. It's a little rough around the edges, but the color is really good, like it's not sun faded at all. And overall the box is in quite good shape too, it's considering its age. Now this one was made by Nintendo in, I believe 1982? Yeah, 1982. And it's made by Coleco for Nintendo. But they had a bunch of these, and I think this one's kind of shaped a little different than the, your typical Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, Qbert, um, Frogger, the regular ones in the series. This one's kind of shaped differently, but like I said, box complete, really happy to get it, and I'll just quickly open it up. Basically what I got inside is the actual game itself, the mini arcade. And I like the artwork on it, um, just on the sides and the front. It works really well. I don't have the batteries in it. Alright, well, it wouldn't let me in, but I'll put the batteries in after this and show you guys what it looks like. But, yeah, I like the artwork on it. Looks pretty cool. Now, it came with the box, this, the arcade system itself, plus the mini manual. The official Donkey Kong Jr. instructions and game rules. So I thought that was pretty cool that it still had the manual in it. So yeah, that's what I picked up.
And like I said, everything here was on trade. They almost... The one guy that runs the shop is a fellow video game collector. So, he does sell stuff, but usually the really good stuff he just takes home for his collection. And rightfully so, because if I had a video game store, I would do the same thing. Um, but yeah, this one he did agree to sell. And he gave me dibs on it, which was really awesome of him. And I tried to bring in lots of stuff to, you know, to make it worth his while to trade. But, yeah, I feel like I got a really good deal from him. So I got the Donkey Kong Jr., Box Complete, and all the other stuff. So, yeah. Thanks again, Rob. Rob is the guy that runs the video game store. If you're watching this, Rob, thank you very much. And the other guy that's at that store, make sure you thank him because he was also one that really wanted this so thanks to both of you guys so yeah that's what I got on trade um, I'll do a quick pan over to show you guys everything a little bit of a close-up of everything but yeah thanks for watching I really appreciate it feel free to comment with what you think of what I picked up if you played any of them um, or what you guys have picked up lately you can comment with whatever you want so yeah thanks again for watching and I'm sure I'll see you guys with another video soon so thanks